Uh, all right, so we're back. Hopefully you can hear me. I, uh, yeah, and so the next thing I'm going to do, I, uh, I just started the recording again, and you're listening to MSP Waves Radio. I am your host, Skanky J. Uh, as it turns out, I am actually the owner of this station, and so as the owner of this station, I do actually support the views that are expressed by me on this station, and uh, and if you don't like it, then that might be a challenge, but... Uh, I can't say that I agree with every guest that comes on here, but uh, so far, so good. We got some great people. All right, so uh, let's go pull Frank up here. And uh, I'm not sure that I've heard Frank's voice before. Frank, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, it's a pleasure to have you here. Welcome to the Minnow Mayor Town Hall. Oh, it's great to be here. Thank you. Um, okay, so Frank, correct me if I'm wrong. Am I even saying that right? Or do you go by Frank? Or am I, should it be like Frank? Yeah, that- that's perfect. Frank. You're right on. Okay. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you win the very first um, Minnow Support Project Resteam contest? I think I actually did. I was, I, was, I was just thinking about it. I can't even remember what you resteamed, though. Yeah, I, I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure that um, we are now all talking to the very first winner um, and it and it seems like it should have been a decade ago or something, but it, it's not. It it's like, like it's like five <laughs> months, five internet months of uh, of time have gone by. But Frank is the very first winner of the Middle Support Project Resteam um, contest, and I'm thrilled to have him on air. And I think, but I'm not positive. This is the first time that I've heard your voice. Is that correct? Yeah, I think it is. Totally. Yeah, we well, we talked over chat a while ago, but that's really it. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, I'm I'm totally stoked to have you on. I didn't I I always sort of imagined that you were an American, but it doesn't sound like you're an American. Where nope, where where are you from? A... Where are you from? Yeah, yeah. I I I mean, try to place my accent. People usually get confused, but I like to have you guessing once. Um should if I know. I mean, it sounds like it it sounds like you're European. And it sounds like you probably know multiple languages. I'm guessing. I'm guessing something like German or Scandinavian. Yeah, yeah, or right on. Are, are you a German? Yeah. Do I get? Do I get well, like one cool German. point for for that? Uh, you, you get you get a bunch. You've uh, already got so many. It doesn't really matter. Well, I I don't know if I've gotten one from you, but I'll. I, all right. Oh yeah, you have. But I, I worked for I worked for BASF. Are you familiar with that company? I am. I'm so, actually not living too far from them. Where did, did you, were you stationed in Germany? Where you no, you no, Germany? no, 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 no. I was not. Okay. I, uh, my joke would be if I were going to Germany, I'd be going to Poopenheine. Um <laughs> What? Well, I mean, it's just a it's just a fake name. But it, you know, the Germans have these kind of weird sounding names to us. And so my okay. my way to sort of like make a funny sounding one that has, uh, I mean, Poopin means to take a poop, and Heine stands for butt. So the town I'd go to is Poopin Heine, but it sound it sounds like it could be a German town. But we do have actual weird names. We have a town that's called Fucking actually. Nice. I <laughs> I will make an effort to go <laughs> to go fucking. Uh, we we need one. We need one that like ends in. Uh, you could go to like the neighboring town of yourself. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, we'll go on the poop and hiney. All right, that might be a bit more. Whatever. Anyways, you're probably not here to talk about being German or any of that stuff. Although it's fun. Um, what are you? What what's what are you here to talk about? What's what's got? What's on your brain? What can we? Uh, what can I got to go put my like serious hat on for a second? What, what, uh, what, what, yeah, what, what can we talk <laughs> about tonight? I saw the empty waiting room and I heard you waiting for somebody. I was just listening in because Crystal pointed me to to the um, Steam It Open Mic show that she was doing earlier, which I was listening to. It's fun, was, right? That's a great show. Yeah, that was awesome. I, I listened to it for the first time though. The whole uh, MSP waves thing not too long ago. I think like a week ago, I tuned in for the first time. You know that's good. We're glad to have as many people co- popping in and uh, experiencing this thing. I feel like I feel like we have a good thing going here. We we I think we still have a little bit of undiscovered gem about us. I'd like to see audiences that are larger than twenty thirty people. I'd like to see um, 
audiences that are a little bit closer to like I don't know 40 50 100 10,000 something like that so we got we got a ways to go right we got to go build this thing up but um, but I think some of that oh, will come getting that. come on I remember when I when I was uh, when I won this first mineral resteam thing the whole the whole Palnet thing wasn't too old was it no I mean it, I, I literally think you were the first resteam winner and so that yeah, yeah. it's got to be the first it's got to be yeah, but I but the, the the whole project started like all of this started with um I'm going to go do this re-steam contest. And so that that's literally like the very first thing. The re-steam contest I think existed before this Discord group did. So like you you predate the even like mm, 6,000 mm. person organization that's here. Oh, that's awesome. I feel special now. You are special. I mean, there's only one person that gets to be the first winner of a of a pretty big thing. I mean, I like to think of it as a big thing. I don't know if other people think of it like that, but um, it is it is hard to keep a contest like that going for um, for months on end and having it consistently work and show up like it, it wasn't until I got to like week 12 or something that I really started having more um, more respect for what L the Lucifer account is doing with his sort of steam open mic stuff and just showing up and doing it week after week after week takes effort and it takes attention and takes scheduling and takes um, marriage negotiations and takes all this other crap. It's, it's actually pretty hard. And so, you know, uh, I learned to respect the other people that are doing it. And I, and I learned to have a lot of respect for uh, what this group has put together. But it's a rewarding thing to do, isn't it? I mean, doesn't it make you feel great to see like Minnow support growing to what it is now? Yeah, I mean, I'm pleased as, as crazy. Uh, you know, I'm generally a smug person that is usually always sort of happy with myself and what I'm doing. Uh, but extra so about this group because I found so many incredible people um, that were really able to go take some of my initial vision and expand upon it and take ownership of it and make it into such an incredible place there's a lot of people that that will call the minnow support project and the peace abundance and liberty network home they call this their home and and you know where whereas the rest of the internet is entirely about how many fucks you don't give and how you couldn't care less and how you're such an edgy badass because you don't give a shit about anything this place is about genuine empathy and sympathy for your other human being. It is a learning environment and it's a place where we fucking care. And I, I think that's really novel for the internet. Oh, I think so too. So I'm proud of it. I'm proud of what we have here. And it, it's my great joy to go build on it. And it's my great joy to see, you know, I, I, if you look at my account, my account has something like 65,000 steam power and I have 65,000 steam power coming back to um, the Minnow support project and to projects that support minnows and individual minnows. Like, you know, I, I try to live up to um, my own standards that I set of we have to help others and I'm, I'm doing it the best that we can. Yeah, and I think I think that's isn't isn't you know that's that's the whole fascinating thing about Steemit. When we come to that value creation or the or the currency creation bundled into this social function, because I think let's face it, it's more about the community than about the content in the end. Yeah, no, I'm, and that that I think is actually pretty hard for people to to get. You know, I I think that it's really about. Um, this this place is as much about the content that you're doing uh, as it is about the 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 group and the social network that you have here. You know, people think that this thing yeah, really ought to just the attitude you you bring in. I mean, you know, you see all these people the call themselves investors, pat themselves on their backs on their own backs with every comment. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, it's frustrating. I mean, I, I, that, that, I, I, that's not what I mean. But I mean, you know, this the the the, the monetary component to it puts a different perspective on those interactions. Um, yeah, I mean, finances change everything. 
I mean, I recognized I recognized that very early on. Uh, just listening, I think it was Papa Pepper that is that was talking about he purchased a house because of steam, and if you can if you can do that, like this this thing isn't just like play money. This isn't grocery store money. This isn't this can be life changing money. I mean, I'm I'm personally because I'm a, a top witness and because there's a lot of people in the community that support me. I'm thinking of quitting my job and doing this full time and working on the radio show and working on the middle support project and trying what my my next sort of major project to me is like grabbing as many people that are in the YouTube community and bringing them here because uh, those mm. people are all frustrated because they're losing revenue because of what they call the adpocalypse, which at its best is corporate sponsors defining what content they want at its worst is really centralized control of what content, and which voices are allowed. And that's killing off the revenue streams of some of the radio or the YouTube personalities. And as a consequence, it's, it's creating a, um, it's, it's allowing steam to get to the point where we're actually a competitive threat to YouTube not for everybody, but if you're somewhere between a hundred thousand and um, a million subscribers, I think I think Steam is actually a better spot for you to grow your your business uh, than it is to be on YouTube. And not to say that you have to do them differently, but um, you know, I put yeah, it... I, I think they'll all have to start with like a, a, a second profile. I mean, like like many many of the the end caps are doing. You know, and just just slowly draw the crowd over. Yep. Yeah, I think maybe that... we need the MySpace uh, Tila Tequila for for Steam. It you know somebody who just brings in half a million people at once. And I th I think it's going to happen. I mean, this is I'm already looking at like there's probably five or ten, and there there's a bunch of people that are part of the YouTube community that are now posting fairly regularly on Steam. And they'll post novel original content to start, and they'll archive some stuff over on YouTube, and um, and I think that's going to create a pretty nice revenue stream for them uh, because they can have like the seven day payout and the brand new content launch here, you know, put it on YouTube so they they can get sort of the longer term payout stuff given to them there. Um, I don't know. To me, this is pretty exciting. I, I, and we're finally at a point where, you know, with the price up at $3 uh, per Steam, and actually I should look before I say what the actual price is. But the, uh, uh, let me go here. I actually often will look on the Steam Bot Tracker website because he was kind enough to go include it. But I see 322 So at, at a price of 322 you know, you're... And, and also with SBD sitting a, above $9, uh, what you can do, the, the amount of SBDs that are going to come off of your post rewards is 0.4. So if you, when I'm trying to do the math in my head, I'll look at how much my post is earning on Steam or on the website Steam It, and let's say you have, uh, I don't know, let's call it 50 bucks because that makes the math a little easier. Let's say you happen to have a pretty good post. It, it's running for $50. Uh, $50. 0.4 of that is going to be uh, $20. So you're actually going to get 20 SBDs. And those 20 SBDs are worth uh, $9.17. So in terms of money, you know what, what shows up on Steemit as a $50 post in US dollars is worth $180. I mean, that... If, if you can figure out a way to get somewhat steady post rewards that are anything like that, uh, in part because, like, if you if you look at David Pakman, David Pakman has a YouTube audience of 400,000, and he's really working hard to go bring that audience to the Steam platform, and he's getting rewarded with, like, $300 posts. Well, now that's 120 uh, SBDs. And those SVDs are times nine. I mean, he's making a thousand dollars on a post in which he is working with his audience to go bring them here. And, um, you know, that starts actually competing with the amount of money that these YouTube guys are getting from their YouTube revenue streams. And it's going to make yeah. us start looking more competitive. And as we get more competitive, we're going to pull more, more YouTubers on and more people are going to want this currency to be able to reward themselves and reward their their audience. 
and it's going to drive the price up and so it's going to make it more attractive to bigger youtubers and bigger media personalities and that's going to drive the price up which is going to attract us to bigger groups like this is a it's a really upward moving upward cascading cycle and uh it's quite attractive to be a part of that oh yeah i mean do you expect spd to stay on these levels i sort of do uh, i think yeah. i might be the minority um but i've been um i've been arguing with a lot of the witnesses of of what steam what spd is described as and what it actually is and it's described on the on the website as a peg and i actually think that it's not a very good description uh, what it actually is is a backstop um, a peg a peg suggests that we can keep it high and we can keep it low uh, but in mm. reality we can really only keep it we can only push it higher which is to say that if spds ever drops below one all the witnesses would are, are going to rally to go increase interest rates to go push it higher. Uh, and you can't really do as much to go just magically print more SPD. And even if you could, let's say that we, we get it. Uh, let's say that BTC is at 18,000. Life is looking pretty good. We go and we print, but we have way too many. The SPD is too high of a price. So then we go print a, a ton of these SPDs so that it gets to exactly $1. And then the market tanks, and now we're down at 13000 for a BTC price. And all of the SPDs suddenly lose, you know, a third of their value. And now they're all sitting there at, you know, $0.66 cents or something. And then the whole community rallies and says, you have to go uh, increase the interest rate. But we just printed all of these, and it's some ungodly amount, and now we have to go enforce that? I mean, it's going to cost us a fortune. All, not only are your, your post values going to go down because the market tanked, but then we're going to go lose all these value because we are going to back... Um, we're going to back the steam dollar with so much more inflation or the inflation that we have is all going to go straight into SPDs. And that to me would be horrible. That would be like a, a double whammy uh, or just like a, not only one fail safe breaking, but two fail safes. So in, in reality, I think that we're stuck with a currency that we can say, and there's not a lot of currencies that'll say this. We can tell them, Hey, look, don't you worry. We will back this, so it's it's always going to be worth at least one dollar a steam, and we'll make sure that it happens. And that's it. There's a backstop there, and I'm I'm pretty damn positive that the witnesses will always support that. But there's not a whole lot of tools in our toolbox that allow us to go the opposite direction and say, "Oh, it's it's twenty dollars. Yeah, we better push that back down." And frankly, I also don't see that there's a lot of reason to do it. Um, you know, when we looked at when we looked at the uh, Penguin Pablo publishes like a pretty nice. Um, oh a yeah, pretty, I, I read it. So he he's got he's got like a, a handy sort of like daily tally sheet or something. So let's go let's go take a peek at this. The, you're getting it. We're going to see a dip in this one, which I think is more holidays than pricing. I'm not entirely sure, but that thing. What's that? The daily steam stats. Yeah, daily steam stats. So he, he's got his active users up there. And I don't know if any of you want to hazard a guess at roughly where we saw our SBD spike. Um, but I'm pretty sure if I didn't know the exact date, I could find it on this chart. Right? Like it's it's not rocket science to figure out when all these people started were like, holy shit, I got a post now because your rewards were suddenly five times what they were showing on the screen. Well, you do see kind of a bump that's probably 10 days ago. Yeah. Yeah, but that's... The, 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 the major rise in SPD predates the bump I can see in the graph. I don't think... Yeah. There, maybe like a day or two. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a day or two lag. Um but this is roughly when the, the SBD spike occurred. And now I think we're getting into holidays, so people are being a little bit less, and the price came down just because the market mm -hmm. was tanking. 
So I think that that kind of hurt some of our activity. Um, but I I'm, think it's confusing at the moment. I think most people don't. I see a lot of people posting uh, with 100% Steam Power rewards. Oh, God. Which, uh, that's uh, terrible. Doesn't make sense at all anymore. Ugh. I mean, I'm wrong, but the dollar values on Steam, it that's actually representing the Steam dollar values. Sort of, but it also assumes that the Steam dollar is worth one. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I think it, that's that's that, that's messing with it a little bit, and that's making the whole SPD value kind of feel weird, you know. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, like it, it is a weird system. Every single part of this thing is hard. Uh, I'm a PhD chemist, and I've spent, I don't know, the last eight months trying my best to figure out how this thing actually works, and I and I still don't feel like I understand all parts of it. And there are some people that are going to look at you and be like, oh, you're an idiot, or how, how can you not understand this really simple thing? And it's like, you know, it's actually not that simple. It's actually really hard. It's really complicated. And, um, you know, even after studying it for six months straight, there are still new things that surprise me. And um, trying to work through this, I mean, you could literally get a mathematical dissertation just in the Steam blockchain just for explaining <laughs> how all this shit works. Yeah, it's 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 fascinating. So, um, well, that's what I got. This has been a fun conversation. I don't know what's going to happen next. I'll probably play another song here, but um, I, I'm excited to bring you on. I'm excited to talk to you. I'm excited to hear your accent. I'm excited to um, thank you for being part of this community. Thank you for helping to kick it off by joining that Resteam contest. And and I know that there's some work that you have done on the down low uh, that, has, that has been quite good for this community. And um, and I appreciate a lot of what you do here, and I'm glad that um, you choose to spend your time with us. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me, and um, thank you for bringing Polnet where it is. All right. Well, All you right. are listening to MSP Waves Radio. I'm your host, Skanky J. It turns out uh, I'm also aggroed, and I and I misquoted, or I, I was misinformed or poorly informed. I said that I was witness 11. Uh, but thankfully, I'm back to witness nine. Uh, back in the top ten feels pretty good. I, I, uh, it looks like I got one of my whales back that I may have pissed off at some point. So uh, I'm gonna go pause for a moment, and then we're gonna go play some '90s rock. <laughs> 